Number three, Rageous here, and this is my natural hair care routine. And obviously, let's let's talk about it. Obviously, you can see my hair looks like a mop, so that sucks. But this is a day. This would be like a day three twist out. The products actually worked. It's my fault. This looks like this. I tried to separate it, but that didn't that didn't work because I guess during the process I was doing my twists, I was taking them down and we got real frizzy. I don't mind a big hair look as long as there is some definition, but in this situation there was no definition. Not really. Um, before I had my hair untwisted, it looked good. At the end of this video, you can see how my hair looked. Um, the video itself doesn't really give me, I guess, much justice in the picture at all. I should have took some pictures of my hair. But nonetheless, I enjoyed recording this video for you guys. This is my natural hair care routine. We're gonna lock in. I'm gonna show you guys each step-by-step -step thing of how I got to this point and um, how you can do better than I did right now with this fluffy twist out. But yeah, let's get into it. Showing you guys exactly how I take care of my hair throughout the week and keep it maintained and style it through a twist out. The hair care routine is super easy to follow. I'm gonna be going over my pre-poo process, my wash day process, my stock leave-in conditioner, the cream and the gel that I use for this process. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how my hair look a couple days right after. Stay tuned. I'm gonna let you guys know right now during each and every hair care routine, I always use aloe vera. That's the gel you see me put into my hair right now. The reason I use aloe vera, especially in my pre-poo process, which is your pre-shampoo process, is because it softens the hair right before you get ready to shampoo. So once you get in the shower and you rinse it out, your hair is pretty much so soft enough that if you didn't need to use a conditioner, you could detangle with straight up the aloe vera residue that's left into your hair because it's that soft. I'm a pretty big advocate when it comes to health care of your hair, and aloe vera has really done that for me in the last year and a half. I've seen so much growth personally in my hair so if you haven't used it check out one of my videos i done a couple months ago explaining how the process is the next step in this process you want to do is twist your hair now that i have the aloe vera coated on my entire uh, top front of my head it's best for me to twist my hair to keep it out of the way and this is now the repetitive part of the process guys you're just going to two strand twist around your whole head and fecal coil at the end listen y'all already know what it is we ain't wasting no money and we ain't wasting no product. So go ahead and dump the last bit of aloe vera you got. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to do this part, but I am. If you guys made it this far in the video, give me a like, hit the subscribe button. We're going to lock in the moisture with a plastic bag now. By the way, I do my pre-poo process in that bag for at least 25, 30 minutes. And after that, I head to the shower to rinse out the aloe vera in my twist. Pro tip for you guys when you massage your scalp in the shower with aloe vera in your head, actually increase the blood flow in your head. So make sure you are doing that every time you hop into the shower. Point is where I'm pretty sure I went wrong. I probably should use a leave-in conditioner that is a little bit thicker and a cream that is also thicker because when I was in the shower, I actually got water inside the cream and that made it very watery. So it didn't really stick like I needed it. The gel, obviously wet line and stream gel, sticks very good to your hair it's not the best gel but it does what it does so in this process guys i pretty much just go through my hair um from ends to root try to make sure it's all detangled and i just twist my hair up like i did through the preview process this is because i'm doing a twist out and that's the style that i was going for also pro tip do your hair in the shower this helps with the application process it just makes the applying the products to your hair a lot easier and I'm back. You guys, so this is my day one hair, I guess you say, day after I actually washed my hair last night and did my hair care routine. So this part of the routine, what we're gonna be going over is me just taking down my twist. I'm gonna be using some olive oil I got from Publix, picked it up, store brand stuff. And what we're gonna be doing is pretty much just taking it down using oil. The reason why we wanna use oil on your twist is because it reduces frizz. And by reducing frizz, we can keep your hair still looking defined. Just like that. Y'all see that? And it just unravel like this, twisting the opposite way of where I'm twisting until I get an opening like that. See, that's an opening right there. And then after that, just pull. It just unravel just like that. Boom. Now you untwist. Untwist. Oops. Untwist. 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 
but luckily at the root still because I didn't twist all the way to the scalp but we're not going for perfection at this time now once you get to this part guys and your twists are separated what you want to do is you can let your hair separate naturally which is what I'm going to do because it's going to get bigger throughout the week and you know for me personally I don't want to over separate my hair I don't let my twists look super defined I would like a fluffy big look throughout the entire week so what I do is I just separate like this wherever the twist wants to be separated pull it gently like that and then I'll do a little bit more separation throughout the week just like that squeeze the oil into your twist untwist the opposite direction until you find an opening now you got an opening now pull As for your ends, if they are dry, you can always just go in with a little bit of curl cream, a little bit of gel, and twist in the same direction that you first twist your hair in with your two strand twist or your three strand twist, and those will curl right back up. Be honest the footage is not giving my hair much justice but i will say that in this picture in real life the product combination actually didn't turn on that bad the process turned bad when i came up three days later and tried to separate in my opinion it's not that good looking in person it may be to some people but that is the process god i want to show you some clips right now of my hair all in all do i recommend the products yes i just don't recommend myself separating my hair at day three but like i said guys this turned out really great if you like the video subscribe like stay tuned i'll be back with some more content very soon weekly peace